Elser has been digging into all the numbers and heard from Charlotte Mecklenburg school leaders this afternoon. And she's joining us now live from West Charlotte. So Nikki, good evening. A lot of information here. So if you would please break it down for us. Sure, well, let's start with that jump in low performing schools. That's when a school receives a D or F rating from the state. And if they either don't meet growth or they do meet growth, but they don't exceed it. 25 schools were added to the list. 16 were taken off, but still it's an overall increase from year to year. CMS says that makes up 58 low performing schools compared to the 50 schools in the 2021 2022 school year and only 42 pre pandemic. The district points to steep teacher vacancies, chronic absenteeism and widening racial and economic gaps as major obstacles. On the flip side, data from the NC Department of Public Instruction shows students are doing better at math and reading both in the state and within the CMS system, jumping in test scores, but not nearly close to our pre pandemic numbers. What I will say is that all of this happened with the instability that our district has um, experienced over the last couple of years, right? We don't need to go down that road and talk about what that instability is. But what I would say is if we can do this in unstable conditions, knowing that we are stabilized, we are going to blow it out of the park next year. And you could bet the farm on that. Now, Dr. Crystal Hill Thank added that, that she thinks these performance numbers are, quote, not good enough, but that they can get better and they're ready to get to work, providing additional support for those weaker schools and weaker areas. Live in West Charlotte, I'm Nikki Hauser, WBTV, on your side, 